Okay, so today I want to do a schedule uh, per request on, uh, like for instance, if you were uh, acquired a apartment complex and you were hired out to do some finish work, could be sheetrock painting, that kind of thing, but you had to do it on every single apartment, every single unit inside that apartment. And so um, we're going to kind of throw together a WBS uh, uh, structure on this schedule and just to kind of let you see that process. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, obviously, uh, open up P6 Primavera, um, and um, what I did is, is you know, as soon as you get to this home page here, I'm going to click on scheduling, um, because this is all, under the little pyramids that you see, this is all under enterprise, okay, and so, you know, like I said, a lot of the stuff comes default with the software, you don't really need it, okay, so um, underneath scheduling, I'm going to go all the way over here to the far right and click on the plus, Okay, and what that's going to do is drop down uh, underneath there a folder. Okay, so this folder um, is, uh, I'm going to just keep it at scheduling just to uh, keep things, or the EPS is at scheduling just to keep things simple with that. Underneath the project ID, um, I'm going to put, um, let's say, I'm going to put remodel. Remodel work, how about that? Um, project name. Um, I could put um, apartment Z. How about that? Um, then, um, just for a start, I'm just going to put on here Wednesday. Um, it doesn't really matter. You put on there whenever you think your project would start. Okay. Then I've got uh, a folder called uh, Remodel Work Apartment Z. Okay. So now. All I want to do is Lee, I want to come up here to project and I want to say WBS. And once I have WBS, again, here's my folder. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to the top right. And, and again, I'm underneath the WBS heading. And I'm going to click the plus sign. Okay, plus sign is going to put these little blue folders up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, remodel. Remodel work. Again. And... Um, once I have that, I'm going to hit plus again, and then now I'm going to say um, apartment Z. Whoops. Try that again. Apartment Z. Okay, so there's apartment Z, um, and then I'm going to hit plus again because I have different categories now. Okay, so remodel work under apartment Z, the first category is demo. I'll put demolition. Uh, on there and then I'm going to hit plus again now you notice how this keeps stair-stepping and I, I don't want that to happen anymore because at this point I'm done I just want everything to be on the same plane so I'm going to come over here to the far right and you can see the the down or the side arrow that's lit up so I'm going to say move left and now it's going to bring these in and move them up so it's going to move whichever one you have highlighted um, now I'm going to hit plus again so that was um, Okay, and now the next one is prep work. Again, I want that to be over the same as that one. What was my first? Okay, so I got demolition, prep work. I'm going to hit plus again. Um, and then the, the arrow again. Just to, again, these three I want all in the same. Um, <clears throat> and I want this one to be um, paint work. Okay, there's that one. I'm going to hit plus one more time. And this is going to be... Final work or punch. I can do that too. Now again, left arrow, bring it over so that all three or all four of those rather are in the same plane underneath uh, apartment Z. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I want to go to apartment Z, and I'm going to say this is where I was before, uh, and I'm going to say activities. I'm sorry, not apartment Z. Demolition. I'm going to hit activities. Okay, so underneath demolition, I'm going to hit plus. Oops. Let's 
So right now the the remodel is kind of highlighted right here. You see that light blue color. Um, so that's highlighting it. I want to I want to stretch this out just so I can see my name. I want to get underneath demolition. Click on demolition. I'm going to hit the plus because this is going to be uh, a new activity. So that new activity uh, I'm going to say is remove wallpaper. I'm going to hit next and then hit finish. So that's underneath there. I'm going to hit plus again. And this one's going to be um, remove carpet. in all areas. So I'm going to hit finish. So I can keep going down through and I'm going to kind of do this real quickly so you can see where we're at. All right, so I went ahead and uh, labeled everything um, so that you could just didn't see me have to type in everything. <laughs> um, and what I did is I changed my original duration to two. It was at five, but I just changed it to two, two days. Obviously, you know, prep and texture drywall is probably going to take hours. Um, you know, remove curtains, probably hours or less than that. So you'd always have to change your, um, your duration. Right now we're in days. But I have to change it to hours and minutes. Um, the other thing I did too is I added one thing because with an with an apartment or a, a condo or anything like that, you're going to have several apartments, right? You're going to have several units. And so what I did right here is I added one. I went back to my WBS and I added this one right here, which is let me slide this over. Apartment number one. Okay, because I've got apartment number two, apartment number three, apartment number four. So I've got all these units. And I need to, you know, space those out so that I can I can put all the different work. So I'm like, okay, here's apartment one or here's unit one. And then I've got unit two and unit three. And there's different work to go on maybe in each one of them. Or maybe it's all the same. Regardless, I wanted to split that up. Because then I can come down here underneath uh, apartment Z. I can hit a plus, And it'll put it down here. And I'm going to say apartment or unit number two okay so now I can do the same thing so I got uh, you can see the line where these are let me get up here these these are in the same plane so apartment number one and now apartment number two or unit two and then each one of them will have prep work demo paint final work final work and punch list so you can see how I can use this WS to work to my my benefit where I can divide up into to different units and then each unit has its has its own work. Okay. So I'm going to go back to activities. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I went ahead and added, like I said, added all this stuff in. I did not do relationships, so I can do that here real quick, probably. Um, and I may just do a few of them here just to get through. Well, I'll go my down through here. And just for simplicity, I'm just going to put in a relationship between each one of them. Um, just a, a basic a, a start to finish or finish to start kind of deal. Um, here, I'll probably just do a few more just so you can get the idea. Okay, then I'll come, I'll come up here to the schedule button, which is the little clock up at the top, and then just hit schedule, and boom, it'll it'll split all this out. So you, as you can see, I didn't schedule this right here. But a couple of things I wanted to show you. Number one is every one of these has a, a total duration. So in other words, to do the prep work, it's going to take me two day, uh, ten days. To do the um, demolition, uh, it's going to take me twenty four days. Okay, I'm not sure why these are moved around the way they are. If I go back to WS, what am I looking at here? I was wondering if they put this. So I'm going to move this up. There we go. Demolition, prep, paint, final. I think that looks and sounds better. I don't know how that got out of order, but so I got demolition first. Demolition takes 24 days. Prep work takes 10, um, and then painting and all that. I didn't do the activities as you can see, um, and so uh, that's why this one is messed up too. Okay, so now if I hit reschedule, I had those things backwards, so that's why it looks like that. Um, 
then I can click on this to here. Let me just finish this up because it looks weird if I don't. There we go. And hit schedule again. Okay, now that pops that out the way we want it. So as you can see, the schedule will keep flowing, but it's got these um, these bars, the black bars in the way, or you know, to, to separate the two, so that you can tell. Okay, this is apartment number one. This is demolition. This is apartment number one. This is prep work. Um, so you can go on down through like that. Um, but this is just a way of using WBS to separate it. Um, you know, you can go in here and change the color codes if you want to do that. You can get real fancy with it. Um, but uh, it just kind of shows you what's going on. And then, of course, at the very top, underneath apartment number one, it does say the total day is 28 days. Okay, so this is just uh, just a quick um, way of showing you how, uh, how to actually... Um, Schedule something where you've got multiple multiple lines of work in multiple units um, just to help you keep track of what's going on with that. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please hit me up. And also, you got to hit and the subscribe and like right uh, at the bottom. So make sure you do that uh, to, to help me keep going. I'm going to continue to put out new, uh, new material in this as well. So if you have something you want me to cover, please you know put it in the comments down below. And, uh, and I'll do my best to get that to you. Okay? Enjoy Oracle P6.